It's time for a review of the new Blood Harmony album from Blues Rock Sisters Rebecca and Megan Lovell of Larkin Poe, which dropped only today. I was crazy excited for this release. I've been on the lookout for a strong, modern, female-fronted rock band, and people, I think I've found it. I've just listened to their new release for the first time a few minutes ago, so let's get round to the review. God, I love that slide guitar. It was the first thing I noticed. We definitely don't have enough slide guitar in rock music these days. Just from a tone point of view, the drums are big and strong, and the female lead and harmony vocals are just something else. Something powerful, like Janis Joplin with more finesse. It's very popular these days for rock vocals to be distorted. I do it quite often myself. It gives a polite little nod to the old recording techniques where bands would have to all perform to one single microphone. So the singer would have to stand right next to it and yell to be heard above the instruments behind them. Rebecca Lovell's voice is strong in and of itself, but the little effects thrown in, such as the clip distortion, just add to that mm factor that brings out the raw power of her singing. She has such control over her voice. I've just checked my notes and it says that whilst I was listening to it, I wrote, I feel like the drummer was angry at their kit. By about track three, I've decided that the next time I'm listening to this song will be when I'm driving with the top down. We've got some real driving rock tunes here. The riffs, the beat, the rhythm, the lyrics about traveling across America. It's actually made me realize that as a Brit, I can't sing some of the tropes usually associated with blues songwriting. American people love to sing about all these rock and roll places like Georgia, Louisiana, New Orleans. I wouldn't have the same effect if I sang Going down a western sea from Get me a bag of chips. I have to mention the slide guitar and voice again. A good example of call and response and once more a great example of an incredibly tight performance. Track 5 is called Southern Comfort because what blues album is complete without talking about alcohol. Christ, this is giving me flashbacks to university. Drink responsibly, kids. The slide guitar is played by the second sister of Larkin Poe named Megan. I remember watching these guys on Audio Tree years ago, I'll link it down below, and they just look like they are having the best time playing music. Good on you ladies, keep it up, music should be fun. We're on to the title track! I'll be honest, I'm a little underwhelmed. Some tasty dark blues riffs here and there, but considering this is the track the album is named after, I always feel like it should be more of a banger. The second half of the album is definitely the softer or at least less heavy section of the release. It's an interesting antithesis to the first half. We're starting to get a mix of ballads and dancey rock and roll numbers here. In fact, there weren't any songs over four minutes until the title track. If the first few songs were flash in the pan, these are definitely more slow burners. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that these guys have gone through a good range of emotions in this album. It really showcases their versatility. You can tell they love the blues and have worked so hard at their craft to become the articulate, evocative musicians and songwriters we can hear here. Here. The guitar tone for this album is excellent, the electric guitar's distortion and piercing quality really comes through and demands to be heard and acknowledged and appreciated. My only qualm is that it may be too trebly from time to time. There are points where I feel like a nice thicker tone in the rhythm would have really turned some of the tracks right up to 11, especially in the latter half. It ends a bit on the slow side. I feel as if the final track should leave your listeners not only wanting more, but also with their ears ringing. Experiencing this album from start to finish is quite like a fun day out with friends but you don't want to get up too late the next morning. There is so much passion and excitement and variance in this album. It's also two sisters playing sweet licks on their guitars and singing their hearts out, and not so much giving you something to listen to as much as demanding that you pay attention. Overall, I give this a crazy strong nine ravens out of 10. Didn't I mention these guys are related to Edgar Allan Poe? That's how they got their name. Let me know in the comments below what you think about them.